Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about a mystery of a neighboring planet, Venus. Specifically, we're actually going to be talking about a concept known as super rotation that is still not really well understood. Anyway, let's talk about this and welcome to Venus and welcome to What the Math. So we're currently are entering the upper atmosphere of Venus and we're going to be trying to land on Venus in Space Engine just to see what the actual surface of the planet looks like. Now what we're trying to find out today is what exactly is causing Venus to have such an unusual atmosphere where a actual rotation of the planet is much much slower than the rotation of the atmosphere around it. And this is actually what it might look like on the surface of Venus if you were to stand on a relatively flat planes. Anyway, let's actually uh, do a little bit of analysis and let's use some of the more recent papers to try to understand why the atmosphere of Venus rotates so fast in comparison to the actual uh, surface. So if you don't really know what I'm talking about, if you were to look at uh, the surface of Venus, so basically if I were to remove the atmosphere, the planet takes approximately 243 days, which is listed right here somewhere, there it is, uh, to rotate once. This is much uh, or somewhat longer than the actual year on Venus, which is about 225 days. This basically means that Venus sort of rotates in the opposite direction of what, how it spins around the Sun. And on top of this, the actual rotation of the atmosphere here is ridiculously fast in comparison. So the atmosphere takes about four Earth days to go around the planet once, suggesting that it spins much, much, much faster than the actual planet. Now this is what we refer to as super rotation and there's actually two objects in our uh, solar system that we've discovered that have this feature. One of them is Venus and the other one is the moon of Saturn called Titan. In case of Venus, we still don't really understand or know why it has that, but there are several explanations and we're going to try to cover the more recent one that tries to basically incorporate solar radiation into it. So first of all, where is this coming from? The more recent ideas are coming out of a university in Mexico, Universidad Nacional Autónoma, and the principal investigator here um, is Hector Duran Manterola. Now, what he suggested is that due to the structure of Venusian atmosphere, which um, is something I'm going to show you in a second, and I guess this is kind of a, a somewhat simpler representation of it. This is from a book uh, on Venus by uh, DJ Cirillo Lombardo. You can kind of see that uh, it is a little bit different from what we have on Earth. As a matter of fact, apart from obvious sulfuric acid that our own atmosphere doesn't have on Earth, the ionosphere on, on Venus actually creates an interesting effect. So Venus doesn't have any magnetosphere here, but there is a magnetosphere that sort of is produced through the interaction of ionosphere, which unfortunately I can't really show you here, with the sun. And this actually creates a kind of a protective layer around Venus that Earth doesn't really have. Because Earth does have a magnetosphere, so ionosphere doesn't really produce the same effect. Apart from that, and we've actually discovered that a lot of the winds in the ionosphere here are supersonic. They're moving really, really fast, faster than the speed of sound. And uh, they are composed of charged particles that interact with the solar wind and basically get influenced by the solar wind as well. And so we think that the solar wind is actually responsible for kind of spinning up these particles here in the ionosphere. And this spin kind of slowly influences the atmospheric uh, layers underneath. And so as the solar radiation strikes the upper atmosphere of Venus, the ionosphere right here 
starts interacting with the charged solar particles and basically increases the speed of the winds in the ionosphere that then go down to other layers and increase their speed as well. In other words, the uh, speed of wind in the upper atmosphere influences the speed of uh, other parts of the atmosphere. But as you can see, the speed actually decreases quite dramatically as you go down to the higher pressures, and so only the upper atmosphere moves at several kilometers per second. In other words, the momentum from the solar radiation particles are transferred into the ionosphere and then transferred down the atmosphere of Venus, thus accelerating the whole uh, rotation and the spin of atmospheric particles in the entire atmosphere of Venus. This is just one of the explanations, of course, but there are some others. Although before we talk about the other explanations, I actually wanted to mention that uh, the same scientists discovered that due to this induction of super rotation, the night side of Venus, specifically in the cloud area, would actually produce the amplitude of about 84 decibel due to, um, well, essentially the interactions of upper and lower layers and the vibration that they produce. And this is kind of similar to, uh, I guess you could call it a fortissimo in a symphony over orchestra, so very, very deep tone that you could probably hear in the clouds of Venus. And they've actually tested these effects uh, with a very simple water experiment where they replaced various uh, components with essentially water and had very similar results with the sphere being accelerated by water jets. Now, some of the other explanations for the super rotation uh, stem from the fact that Venus does spin very slowly, so the temperature on the bright side is a little bit lower than the dark side, and uh, because of the temperature differences, there might be some sort of an effect that increases the uh, rotation of the atmosphere again. There also might be an effect from the Sun itself, because Venus is much closer to the Sun and because it doesn't spin very fast, it actually has a lot of uh, tidal effects it gets from the sun. And so due to this, it's possible that there is a torque effect that's um, induced by the sun on Venusian atmosphere that causes it to rotate faster. And some of the more exotic explanations even involve the difference in albedo, basically a reflectivity of the planet, where we know that on a day site, the reflectivity is actually much higher, whereas here it's much lower. And the fact that um, basically the planet generates a kind of a pressure gradient right here, uh, it might actually increase the rotation yet again. But personally, I think the best explanation was essentially the first one. We know that the solar radiation actually is very powerful and it definitely is powerful enough to accelerate the ionospheric um, atmospheric layers. And this would lead to the rotation of lower atmospheric uh, layers as well. And because uh, Venus has no magnetosphere, nothing is stopping uh, the solar radiation from uh, causing this effect on Venus. But on Earth, because we have a magnetosphere, we are protected from these effects. And so maybe, just maybe, if Earth didn't actually have magnetosphere, it would also have similar effect. In other words, maybe it would also have this unusual super rotation effect that we're observing on Venus. Now, that's all I kind of wanted to mention in this video, and we're going to talk about the super rotation of Titan in one of the future videos, so do come back and do subscribe if you still haven't. Consider supporting this channel Patreon if you still haven't, and uh, come back tomorrow to learn something else. Tomorrow we're going to talk about something a little bit different, so maybe even something you've never heard of before. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.